guys. How's it going? I am here to make a video. I am... I've been absent because I've been traveling a lot. I, um, my summer has been very, very hectic. Hectic. Ugh. I can't even speak English. Um, yeah, so... My summer has been very, like, messy, a lot of stuff has been going on, I mean, like, not officially a lot, it's more like, it's more like I've been traveling a lot, that's, that's my way of putting it, <laughs> that's not, that's the correct wording for it, and if you haven't seen or checked upon my Snapchat or my Instagram, then you will know that I've been traveling. In June, I went to Germany for a week and a half, and it was really amazing. It was awesome, and I am definitely, like, really wanting to go again and probably study over there, but I think that's a pretty low chance unless I do study abroad, unless I study abroad over there when I go to college, which is <laughs> I really want to go to fucking Austria, <laughs> because apparently it helps the college if I get accepted. Um, so yeah, um, and then right after, oh my god, the story, when I was in Germany, our flight was cancelled, and, you know, like, in, like, two days, I had to go on the plane all the way to Mexico, and the flight got cancelled, and we had to stay for a night, and it was, it was very nice, I mean, I like Germany a lot, but, you know, I wouldn't want to miss a flight to Mexico, especially if it's a family vacation, because I went to Germany as a exchange program, so I wasn't with my family, so I was pretty screwed if I did not arrive early, but, um, you know, stuff happened, and I just, I still got to go, but I had to hop on a plane for, all by myself all over Mexico. Um, and it was very terrifying because I never traveled by myself and like I've traveled you can say I traveled by myself during the exchange program but I was like with you know like students and teachers I was still like I still had company with me but yeah um, and then I, I stayed like for an entire month in Mexico such a nice experience I mean, I've been to Mexico a lot of times but like you know, this time for a month, I, it was very nice because I never stayed in Mexico for a month. I'm like talking a lot, and I'm this. This is not the video is not about my traveling, but I'm just letting you guys know where I've been. Um, and I haven't. Uh, the internet when I was traveling was very terrible, so I couldn't upload anything, and I was too busy to like tape anything. And of course, I'm not a vlogger. I don't think I will ever be a vlogger. So, yeah, in this video, I will be saying that, um, I'll be saying that I am gonna do some videos right before school starts. I'm gonna be doing a contest entry for Jenna Drawing, and, um, yeah, and I'm gonna do another painting speed, I'm gonna do another painting, like acrylic painting, speed, speed paint type thing, time lapse. Um, and I'm not know when I'm doing it, because I'm still playing planning the um I'm still planning the painting and I'm gonna like upload another sketchbook tour and yeah this video I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my art favorites and since I've been traveling a lot I've been using my sketchbook and I've been using you know supplies very like like you know traveling makes you travel lightly when you're wanting to draw when you're traveling so like when I traveled, and <laughs> when I traveled, um, I had to carry everything in this bag, and except except for um, except for this for this palette, um, yeah, I couldn't. I clearly couldn't like put this in here, but yeah, there's like yeah, I kept these two, and plus my sketchbook. Um, I've been giving it a lot of love, and the sad thing is, is that. <laughs> paper dropped. The sad thing is, is that I haven't decorated my front cover because I've been traveling a lot. But, because you know me, I'm the person who loves to decorate their sketchbooks. So yeah. 
I'm gonna be decorating right before I finish it, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, so clearly my favorite uh, supply is my sketchbook, which is, it, which is the mixed media Canson, the Canson mixed media sketchbook, and it's um, 98 pounds, which is 160 grams, which is really nice enough to handle any type of uh, media like inks or watercolors. It does hold, I've been using uh, alcohol based markers, but it, does, it bleeds through, so I wouldn't say it holds that good. But yeah, um, another favorite is um, you know, you might think that sharpener is not a big thing you know like but there's there's is a wonderful feeling when you are able to sharpen a pencil so perfectly it's like the drugs <laughs> but yeah this sharpens my pencil so good and like i don't know i like it and it's it's i hate it when you buy a sharpener and it's Kind of like these and like it's very easy for it to open up so like the not, I, I want, so that like the um scraps like fall all over and I, I hate that because but this one oh i just dropped <laughs> but uh this one you have to it's very secure um and like and it's, it's kind of hard to put it into but in the locks, so it's it's really secure and it's it's a very nice sharpener and I really recommend it. I got it at Walmart like for fifty cents, so it's definitely worth the money, I guess. Um, and it looks like this, so yeah. Um, and my nails look. Oh, I got my nails done and like this one won't fall off or this one either, so yeah. <laughs> um. I, I have been very obsessed with watercolors lately, um, my palette's right here, so yeah, I've been using this one, um, frequently since I've been traveling, and the reason why I'm using this a, a lot is because it has, oh, it has a lot more, you know, plots, I have like white here, which was, you know, com compared to this, I made this, I made, I also made this because I had to fill it up. Um, I clearly didn't make the plastic part, but I, I filled it up with colors that I wanted. And this one too. I actually made this. <laughs> I like making palettes. I am obsessed with making palettes. I'll show you another one that I'm making. So yeah, I've been using this one a lot because it has a lot more space for, for a lot of, for a lot more colors. And, um, uh, and, you know, space to mix and stuff. Um, but I love this one, but the thing is, is that it's too big, um, you know, it's, it's nothing, it, it's not, I want to say it's a negative, but it is, it's, it's nice, but I would really like it if it was really small, and yeah. And by the way, I use the Gabler Rowling watercolors, which you can find at Walmart, I think, or like any, like, I don't know, like, market. <laughs> They're really cheap. Um, but yeah, oh, and I'm going to show you the other palette that I made. So, I bought Gail around and, um, I don't know what I'm going to say, but yeah, this is like the pencil case, not the pencil book, but this, the, the, the metal part, the metallic part, um, it's the, the pencil one, is it, this comes, this inside, this came a lot of pencils with like drawn pencils like HB, H, it, B something, H1 or something like that and I took them out because I wasn't using them and I'm like you know I can make a palette out of this and you know I'm, I, I'm a person who likes to drink a lot of water bottles so I've been saving up the water bottle caps and yeah so like I've been lining them up right here and stuff and I'm just waiting to, to fill it up with all the watercolor, with all the caps that it can hold. So I think I can hold like three more here and then I will hot glue it and then I will fill them up with watercolors. So yeah, I'm very excited to use this um, pretty soon. Um, 
and I'm I'm thinking about investing in different in a different kind of watercolors because I really need to like upgrade because like they're not the ones I'm using currently are not bad but I've seen better and of course it's always nice to upgrade and so like but I need to save up money so yeah um so these are very nice like brushes they feel really nice this one i accidentally bent because i put it into the pencil case because i i took these when i was traveling and they got like busted af but this they still work and they're still very nice and i got them at walmart and they're like these are the round brushes this is a 12 the round 12 this is like a round around five i'm not sure the side, like the, the labeling is like stacked off, and this is around 10, and I like using around 8 too. So, yeah, um, second, secondly, this is not secondly, like this is like the fourth or something, and I have been using like, why am I even doing that? I've been using alcohol based markers. I never thought I'd be saying that, but. Yeah, I've been using them. I bought, I bought the, uh, I bought the, the Prismacolor, the Premier marker, um, and I bought four because, yeah, girl, don't make money, <laughs> and these were like five dollars each, so I spent like twenty dollars on them, um, so I mean I want to buy more because they're nice. Um, so, but, um, yeah, and I bought, like, skin tone based, um, markers, and I bought one in red, which is Scarlet Lake, and these, these come with a brush tip and the bullet one, too. And it's really nice. I definitely recommend it. So I've got Scarlet Lake. I've got Peach, which is a very nice color for like blush or anything like that. Uh, this is a more like a skin tone color, like you know, light people color, <laughs> which is light peach. Uh, and then for like hair or any dark spots, um, this is Walnut. Well, I'm, I'm gonna show you an example in a sketchbook where I use. Uh, these markers and they look very 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 nice. very nice so you see right here this is my um, this is my first time actually trying these this is my OC Daisy and yeah I use Scarlet like in the background and I used a walnut as her hair and then like I did you know her face with light peach and peach and um and for her sweater, I I use watercolor because I clearly don't have the list of one of the markers. But I am gonna wear my little sweater. Um, uh, but yeah, and they're expensive as yeah, as heck. But um, these uh, my watercolors and these are my traveling essentials. What I will say. Um. So yeah, I use and then. And this is also my traveling essential. I'm gonna show you what's my traveling essentials slash favorites. Um, another thing that I got this uh, summer was a Micron um, zero one, and it's very versatile, and I love the lines that it makes. It's my very first Micron. Um, I'm gonna tell you, it wasn't cheap, and I am taking it very proper care of it, and I love it to death. And I barely use it, <laughs> but like, when I use it, I love it. Another traveling essential is um, this pink eraser. Why not? <laughs> pink eraser. Another one is I bought two of these with me because like these I use them a lot and they run out a lot too. So yeah, I bought two of these and these are very old. So I, I got them like four months ago. No, actually more than that. I actually got them like January. So they're like already like eight months old, but they're still here. They're still working, and I have a third one, which is because I bought a pack of three, and I use these two already. But they still they still have a lot of them. So a lot of the ink inside. Oh my god, why can't I not speak? <laughs> but either way, 
but yeah this is the um the jelly roll this is a pair of jelly roll in white i really want to get this sigma ball because it looks it's a lot it looks like it's a lot more pigment pigmented than uh, this but i don't know where to find it and so like even though like i only painted like two times this entire summer because i've been really busy and i haven't been able to paint or pa with acrylic paint i have used this once no, a few times and this is the um the folk fruit extreme glitter and silver and this is like a top coat where you can put this on places where you want it to shimmer um and it, it looks very nice i'm gonna show you a painting that i did with these with this I made this and I made it like it connecting with all the flowers and it shimmers you see how it shimmers it looks very cool it looks very magical let's say it and I don't know what else I think that's all that I think that's like all that I have and it's, it's already 16 minutes like that's freaking crazy so, yeah, I'm just, like, gonna check. Because, like, I know I have more. And, um, yeah. And, and your girl is forgetting. Oh, okay. Even though I've been I haven't been able to ink lately with, like, I mean, I've been able to ink this with this because I've been traveling. It's very easy. But I clearly can't take this traveling anywhere because, like, it's more than, like, a 3.5. 2 ounces and I can't clearly take it to like the airport and square is gonna like drift and, and plus it's like black India ink like if you spill it you're practically screwed I mean it's it's messy when you spill it but yeah I, I love this shit <laughs> I swear it okay I, I do swear and it's the daily Rowney black India ink and I use this a lot and it's on the spot but I use it to ink my drawings when I, um, when I get to. <laughs> so I haven't been, I haven't been inking, I haven't been using this, but it's one of my favorites. But yeah, um, I'm gonna upload this tonight. Well, technically it's one in the morning, but whatever. And I'm gonna upload another video tomorrow. Because I'm gonna make it a speed paint. But I'm gonna, it's a contest entry. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And, um, see you in the next and i don't want to say i love you because i don't I, I don't know you guys but like like all the youtubers i watch they always say love you guys and i don't know it just kind of stuck with me because i watch a lot of youtube but yeah see you guys i told you stuff this is stupid